Welcome back to the show. Well, we've long known things like cancer and heart disease can be genetic, but it actually goes one step further than that. Scientists have developed a new test which uses genetic information, your DNA, to help work out things like what diet to be on or what exercise you should be doing. And we are joined now by Amy Champion and Dr Lior Rauchberger, the CEO of My DNA. It's nice to see you both. Thank you for having us. Uh, Dr Lior, when we think of DNA, we often think of crime scenes. Yes. Identifying suspects. Ultraviolet light, CSI. Uh, yeah. But we are figuring out a new way to use this data for good, Absolutely. even more good. Absolutely. Well, we all inherit DNA from our parents and it makes us all unique. So now with the DNA test, you can learn a lot about your general health and wellness. So things like nutrition, what the best foods, what's the best diet for you to be on, um, your fitness profile. I learned a lot of things about my fitness profile that I hadn't known before. And we're just releasing now a MyDNA vitamins test, oh. which provides some insights about what are the vitamins that you are more genetically predisposed to needing. Huh. Wow. Yes. And Amy, what made you decide to do this MyDNA test? Well, I'm a busy mum working yeah. um, and I've also started studying. And um, so you can imagine it's a little hectic in my household and I just need to be as healthy as possible. Yep. So I was really keen to kind of understand um, what I should be taking because I've taken a lot of multivitamins and things along the, on, along the way. Um, and this sort of, yeah, lets you know what it is that you specifically need. Right, so you sort of know both what you're most at risk of and what is going to work best for preventing those yeah. things from happening. Wow. So, Dr Lior, how does the test actually work? Well, it's a simple test. It's just a cheek swab. Yep. So it's like a bit of a brush and you swab the side of your cheek, remove some cells from your cheek and then it goes off to our lab and about a week later you get your results. So we go through our DNA lab and then it's a really simple report. It's not technical. I mean, it can be shared with your healthcare practitioner, but it provides some insights about um, vitamins, vitamin A, vitamin B, calcium, iron, and says to you, genetically, what are you more predisposed or at risk of being low of? Because otherwise, how would you know? How would you know what's the right vitamins for you taking? You'd just be guessing. Yeah, of mm. course. Well, obviously, I'm actually the perfect genetic specimen. But, um, Amy, talk us through your test results. Were you surprised what you found? And what did you find and how did it influence what yeah. you did with your life? So I was quite surprised. Um, calcium came up as something that I um, may be at risk of being quite low in. Right. Um, and vitamin D as well. Um, and I hadn't realised the link to the genetics, um, but my mum actually is deficient in vitamin D and is ah. taking supplements herself. So that kind of, you know, triggered something in me that I probably need to start looking at yeah. adjusting my diet and potentially taking a supplement as well to stop... Um, you know, some bone density things from happening in the future. So before this, you'd have a vague idea of what your mum might or might have or whatever, but it'd be very woolly. But with this, you actually know exactly where... You can map out, I guess, exactly where you need to top things up and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was more lifestyle and sort of diet-related. Um, but, yeah, I didn't realise that genetically I'm actually unable to really sort of process vitamin D. So I need to have more of it. Huh. Wow. Well, thank you very much to you both. Uh, to learn more, you can visit mydna.life. And as always, if you have any questions, make sure you speak to your GP or pharmacist. Dr Lior and Amy, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Over to you, Ange.